going to look at something that's really important, and we've actually broken this course up today according to this. And this is the five basic movement principles. And the reason why we designed the course around these five basic movement principles is when we want to get an individual to exercise with the final goal being longevity, we want them to achieve really good movement of these five movement principles. Movement principles, yes. And obviously the main goal is to achieve these principles Without them the having intensity to that is put into that muscle is increased. And this we actually tested on an EMG to see when we take the compensation away from the exercise, what is the intensity in the primary mover and the group of muscles that work with the primary movers. Definitely, that work just completely spikes up in that specific muscle group. And as well, it's also applicable when you're doing stretches, because if you do a certain stretch, out of alignment that won't have the same effect as if you're in principle they fit into maybe they fit into more than one so Lemise and i've got shelly they are going to be our guinea pigs we're going to call this one miscompensation and this one is little miss to an anterior tilt because they're restricted at the front of the hip so i'm going to ask her to slightly bend the knee slightly tuck the pelvis and keep that hip forward. This hip may not roll forward because then that spotlight, roll forward Lemise, is going to shine on her lumbar spine and her quadratus lumborum, which means that that is what's going to be doing the work. If they feel QL working, you're actually going to roll them back because now the spotlight is shining on obliques. Just be careful that TFL isn't dominating, and if you see that it is, allow them to do it.